Just remind us all why Mariupol has been such a centrepiece in recent weeks, why it's so important. Yes, I mean, according to Putin's original plan, Mariupol should have fallen within the first few hours of this war on the 24th of February. And, and here we are now on day 47, 48, and they're still fighting in the middle of Mariupol. It's important to Putin because it's part of his land bridge that he would like to create between the Donbass and Crimea. If he doesn't have Mariupol, then that land bridge is always insecure. It's also important because it's the southern tip of his encirclement that he wants to create now between Kharkiv further north and Mariupol. So it's, it, it sort of anchors the southern part of his offensive to try to encircle this large part of the Ukrainian army in the Donbass. And there have been reports that uh, Russian forces may have used chemical agents. Those are the words of uh, Liz Truss, the Foreign Secretary. Clearly unconfirmed reports. What's the process from here over the next couple of days to try and establish if that, that's true or not? It's very hard to establish, um, unless there are quite a lot of victims. It seems, latest reports in the last hour, is that there may be three people who were injured. But unless somebody, somebody independent can examine them, it's very difficult. We've only got the word of the Azov battalion, and they're not the most reliable of units who are fighting in this war with, for the Ukrainians. Most of the others are. Um, and I would be very cautious. President Zelensky himself is being cautious because he doesn't want to make, as were, huge anti-Russian claims if they turn out not to be true. If it is the case that chemicals have been used, that would be a huge step over another uh, threshold which the West would feel it has to react to. And, and is Mariupol still standing firm? Is it likely to fall, increasingly likely to fall in the coming days? Well, uh, they're still fighting at Mariupol. Um, it looks as if the Ukrainians have... Uh, counterattacked in certain areas, but ultimately the Ukrainians have got about four and a half thousand troops. Uh, we don't know how many of them are still on their feet, but they had about four and a half thousand. The Russians surround them with about three times that number, 14,000, and the Russians can bring up more troops. The nearest troops who could help the Ukrainians in Mariupol are probably about 60 miles away. So, given that President Putin has made it clear he wants to take Mariupol probably before the 9th of May, which is his great victory parade mm -hmm. and speeches, then I think the, uh, the next couple of weeks will decide Mariupol one way or the other. If we were to zoom out again and, and just uh, consider all of uh, Ukraine, clearly a, a lot of uh, discussion about a renewed offensive more broadly on the Donbass region, not just Mariupol. Mm -hmm. Um, how much does the extra troops that Russia's moving there change the bargain there? Because, of course, they were slow to make progress there as well over the last couple they of years. They are. I, I mean, the fact is it's easier a country for armoured vehicles and tanks, but they've left it until the spring, which is very soft. The time to use armoured vehicles in Ukraine is in the winter when it's cold and frozen, or in the summer when it's hot and dusty and dry. But the autumn and the spring are exactly the wrong time to try an armoured uh, thrust, which the Russians must have thought they would not have to do. And the Ukrainians are very well dug in in the Donbass region. They've been there for since 2014. They've been there for eight years. So I think it may be a, a monumental battle developing. And everybody knows that, that the, the war will depend on what now happens in the Donbass. That, this will either give Russia, as it were, a way out, uh, which shows that they've grabbed a bit more territory, or it will push them back again and it will create a stalemate and leave Putin in an even bigger mess than he was in a week ago. Michael Clark, as always, thank you so much.